know if you know this, but uh, Masteratops and his his mathematical chef friend Mario B are actually ultra marathon runners, and and I've recorded um, a couple of functions that describe uh, the speed at which they ran their last um, just ridiculous marathon. Uh, it was, you know, it was over uh, 150 kilometers apparently. Um, don't try this at home. Your home's probably not big enough to run 150 kilometers, I imagine. But anyway, you know what I mean. Be safe. Okay. So the question is, how do you tell if a graph from the graph of a function if that function has a constant rate of change? Well, th the simple answer is the uh, the graph will be a, a straight line. If there's a constant rate of change, it'll be a straight line. If it's not a straight line, there isn't a constant rate of change. Okay, so you can just eyeball it, and y and you'll know. Um, but I want to do a little bit of work here to kind of prove that to you, so you don't have to just believe me and um, so I've got the two graphs here um, the green one is a, a record of the way in which Masteratops ran this thing um, and actually he kind of ran back to the starting point here and uh, then Mario B just kind of slow and steady uh, ran the whole thing at, at a constant rate of of speed rate of change so and, and I'll show you I'll show you why that's true so I just want to pick a, a couple of, of pairs of points here and find the rate of change between them and, and show you that for the straight line, the rate of change is always the same. So there's a constant constant rate of change. And then for the, uh, the curve here, the rate of change is changing. Uh, so there's a rate of change of the rate of change. But don't worry about that until you get into calculus, which is some time from now. It'll be fun, by the way. Um, OK, so let's pick out a couple of couple pairs of points here. So I just want to compare maybe points A and B and maybe, I don't know, C and D. Okay, so um, yeah, let's, let's find the rate of change between these points. So let me record the coordinate pairs for A, for a and B here. So um, A is at the location two hours and um, twenty kilometers, which means that Mario B in two hours he was able to run twenty kilometers, and then um, we get point B here. That's three hours and thirty kilometers. So if we, to find the rate of change between these two points, um, we simply find the difference in the y and divide that over the difference in, in the x coordinates. So um, the difference in y, so um, difference you can symbolize with, with a delta like that. So the difference in y, or in this case, uh, the distance in kilometers, and the over the distance, the difference in, in the x, which on the x-axis here we've got time. So the change in distance over the change in time. So the change in distance it would be um, 20 minus 30. That does not look like a 3. Um, and over the change in x, the change in time it would be 2 minus 3. So uh, 20 minus 30 is negative 10. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Simplify that. The negatives cancel out. Ten over one is ten. So this uh, this rate of change would be ten um, kilometers over one hour, so, or ten kilometers per hour. Okay. So let's. I'll show you that the same thing exists for the difference between C and D. Um, point C is located at five uh, five hours and fifty kilometers. Um, and point D is at 7 hours and 70 kilometers. Um, so the change in the y-axis variable or distance would be 50 uh, minus 70. So you just find the difference between them. No big deal. And then the difference 
in the x-axis variable or in time would be 5 hours minus 7 hours, 5 minus 7, and that is equal to, 50 minus 70 is equal to negative 20 kilometers, and 5 minus 7 is negative 2 hours. Uh, the negatives cancel out, and 20 over 2 can be simplified to 10 over 1. Uh, if you think, or you think of it as 20 divided by 2 is 10. So the rate of change there is also 10 kilometers um, per one hour, or 10 kilometers per hour. So uh, we would say his speed was 10 kilometers per hour the entire time, which is quite fast for running. Um, it must be the little chef hat that gives him that extra power. So, um, so that we would say this this graph here, the graph of this function, shows that the function has a constant rate of change, which is this 10 kilometers per hour. So uh, now let me show you that that's not true for the other guy. Um, so let's pick pick a couple points to look at. Um, let me just find where it intersects with some easy lines here, just to so we don't have to do any crazy decimals or anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna look at the difference between the rate of change between A and B, and the rate of change between uh, C and D. So let's do that over here. So A, um, let's make this green. A is located at uh, two hours and 70 kilometers. B is located at four hours and what do we have, 120 kilometers. Okay, so the rate of change between A and B would be the difference in the y's, or the distance in distance, over the difference in time, the difference in the x's. So um, you've got 70 minus one, 120 uh, over 2 minus 4, uh, or 2 minus blob, apparently. Okay, here we go. 4, and that's equal to, all right, 70 minus 120 is negative 50, and 2 minus 4 is negative 2. So if we were to simplify that, that would be, the rate of change there would be 25 um, kilometers um, per, per hour, one hour. So the negatives would cancel out. 50 over 2, 50 divided by 2 is 25, so we just simplify that. It's 25 kilometers over, um, per one hour. So um, the average speed between A and B would be 25 kilometers per hour. But let's look at C and D. Let's see what the rate of change between those two points is. So point C is located at 5 hours. Um, 5 hours, and what do we have? 120 kilometers. And then, what's D looking like? D is at seven hours. I mean, this is a lot of running. I mean, 15 hours of running. The most I've ever run at once is five hours. It, it hurt. Um, what am I doing? Oh, D is seven hours and 100 kilometers. Okay. So if we take the um, difference in the y-axis. Variable we have 120 minus 100, and then the difference in the x-axis variable in the time is 5 minus 7, and that is equal to uh, 120 minus 100 is 20 kilometers, and 5 minus 7 is negative 2 hours. Uh, reduce that. There's just one negative here, so this final result will be negative. Um, so reduce that would be negative 10 um, kilometers per one hour. So this rate of change is not equal to that rate of change. So from here to here, uh, the average rate of change was um, 25 kilometers per hour. But going from point C to point D, he's going negative 10 kilometers per one hour. So actually has a, a negative rate of change. 
which actually means um, at this point, Masteratops stopped, turned around, and then started going back towards the starting point of the race. So um, here we have a positive rate of change. Here we have a negative rate of change. You'll get into all that later. Um, but the point being, on a curve like this, there's not a constant rate of change, and that's what makes it curvy. Um, on a straight line, there will be a constant rate of change. That's what makes it a straight line.